Here's the uh, 6502 logic analyzer that I've been working on. It's based on the Teensy 3.1. It's uh, shown there on my little board. The uh, little board just wires out some of the I.O. pins to these uh, test clips that are currently clipped on to a 6502 CPU on this old vintage Ohio Scientific uh, CPU card. And uh, this little Teensy runs fast enough that it can actually keep up to the clock on the 6502, which is running at 1 megahertz, and record uh, the 16 address lines, the 8 data lines, as well as a few of the control lines, the read-write, the sync, and uh, the clock itself. So the way this works is the TT's got the uh, program in it that actually monitors the lines for uh, a specific address and then triggers and records uh, the address data and control into an array. And I can set the uh, can set the trigger address using the little computer uh, program that's running on this Linux computer. And I uh, set for example, FFFC, which is the reset vector for the 6502, and then I type run, and the Teensy is now spinning, waiting for that address to arrive on the address leads, which I can actually hit the reset button here, and it reset, so it found the trigger address, and it recorded all of the address and data leads and I can type display and display the first set of things that are recorded you can see at the top it had FFFC it fetched the data of 00, zero and FFFD it fetched A0 and then it jumped to that address and started to execute a program that's in the ROM at that address which is actually the original code for the Meet Me conference bridge that was developed in the early 1980s. So that's the... Uh, and then I can upload this uh, data into the Linux box and I have a disassembler that uh, I'll show another video that uh, how it works and it can disassemble this code. So this is the address, the data, followed by the read-write line, 0 or 1 if, if it's reading, 0 if it's writing, followed by the sync line, which is one if it's fetching an instruction. Otherwise it's fetching uh, probably a data or part of an opcode, but the start of an instruction is always a one. And the last is the interrupt, which I don't have any interrupts going on. And that's uh, what we have working so far, is uh, the ability to monitor the CPU, collect all the address data control lines, and uh, trigger on specific addresses. And I'm hoping to use this to... Uh, I have another Ohio Scientific that doesn't boot, so I'm hoping to use this to help me get it going. And that's it.